Hey guys, it's Ashton Bingham with Muse Themes with another quick tip video for you. Today I'm going to cover something that's very simple but can be a huge time saver when designing your site in Muse. I want to show you a neat little trick to changing the color of graphics or icons in Muse without needing any outside software like Photoshop or anything like that. Here in my Finder window, I have our Utility Icons Graphics Pack downloaded straight from the Muse Themes website. And there are literally dozens to choose from in here and included are light and dark versions for use depending on your site's color scheme. Right now, I'm just working with a blank white page. So let's look at some of the darker ones. And we'll go ahead and grab one of these out of here to place on our page. How about this uh, bell icon right here? We'll drag it straight onto our page and we'll size it down a bit and center it. Cool. Now it's important to remember that this is a PNG file, not a JPEG, meaning there's transparency on this file. If I drag it off the page, you can actually see through the parts of the file that aren't colored by the graphic. And since this is a placed image, you can't change the color with the fill menu or anything like that. Now the more tedious method here would be to open this file in a software like Photoshop, give the graphic a different color, re-export it, and then re-import it into Muse. But check out this handy little trick instead. What we're going to do is use an inner glow effect, which might sound weird, but check this out. With the icon selected, let's click up here on our effects menu. And we're going to go to this last tab here for the glow effect. And if we check the box to enable the glow, We'll also want to check the box to make it an inner glow so that the color is reflected inside the image, not around it. And then lastly, we can select the color, opacity, and blur amount. So let's say we wanted this to be a red icon. We could open the color picker. I'll select a nice bright red. And already we can see just the outline of a red glow. So we'll definitely need to pump up the opacity to 100. And then the blur amount is just going to be a large number. The blur basically stretches the glow inward. So the bigger your icon is, the more blur you're going to need. So you can basically just increase this number until your new color takes over the entire real estate of the graphic. And that's it, folks. Our graphic is now red. No outside editor was needed, which saves a ton of time. And our entire file here is still transparent and still appears just like a regular PNG. So thanks again for catching us on another quick tip, and we'll see you next time. Thanks again.